Hi, welcome. Last time we learned how to fine tune our vocals using parameters. Today, let's automate those parameters and even vocal modes. So, let's get started. First, let's recap what we learned about vocal modes and parameters on part 5 and 9 of this series respectively. Each one of the voices in Synthesizer V Studio has a unique set of modes or general parameters that we can modify in order to fit a certain genre. Well, we can also automate them. And for that, we need to use the Parameter Panel, a tool in which you can create automation curves for both features, like on a DAW. Ok, so, to add a Parameter Panel, you just have to click on the menu at the top right corner of the Piano Roll and select Add Parameter Panel. Now, choose which parameter you want to modify, select the Freehand tool and draw a curve. Using the freehand tool, the automation will have multiple control points across the whole line. And that's it! We just created an automation. This one increases the breathiness at the start of the phrase and then the voice gets more clear. I still remember your brown eyes in the coast of Rio. Ok, great! Also, with the freehand tool, you can right-click and drag to erase the line. Now, let's switch to a vocal mode, for example, power. And let's also change tool to the line tool and draw a curve. Notice how using the line tool will give us control points at the start of the curve and at the end of the curve. If you want to make some modifications, using the multi-editing tool will allow you to move or edit the control points. Ok, so let's hear it. I still remember your brown eyes in the coast of Rio. That's quite different. Ok, so far we created an automation curve using the freehand tool, another using the line tool, and learn how to modify them using the multi-editing tool. Now, let's take a look at some other tricks that you can do using the parameter panel. So, for example, by pressing shift and drag, you can select many points at once. Also, if you want to compare or coordinate changes between curves, while you are editing one, you can display a completely different parameter or vocal mode curve. And you can switch between the edited parameter and the displayed parameter very easily. Now, you may be asking yourself, well, now I understand how to manage automation curves, but what happens if I move or change notes, and how does that correlate to control points? Well, let me show you. If you want to choose control points along with the notes corresponding to those points, just select the notes of the phrase you want. Right-click and choose Select Parameters for Notes. Now, you can copy and paste notes along with their vocal mode or parameter automation and it is possible to integrate it using note groups too. Let's take these notes and group them together. You can draw two different automations, the automation inside and the automation outside the note group. Inside of it, we could go for more specific modifications to the least minute detail. Outside, we could have a more general or structural approach at the end, both will be taken in consideration for the synthesis. Ok, so today we learned how to automate vocal modes and parameters using the parameter panel, along with some important details that we need to take in consideration when using it. For the next videos, we will look at some tips that you may find useful to make truly effective vocal edits with just a few clicks. So, see you in the next video.